Hi guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HUB coach. In today's activity, we're going to be talking about the holiday Friendship Day. Friends are great to have and we want to treasure them. I'm going to give you a few activities of things that you can make for your friends to give to them on Friendship Day. For the first part of this activity, we're going to need a sheet of paper because we're going to be making cards for our friends. Make sure to tell them how much you care about them and how lucky you are to have your friends. Make as many cards as you like for as many friends as you'd like. To start out my card, I have folded my paper in half. So this will be the front of my card. This will be the inside of my card and this will be the back of my card. So let's start on the front. So I started out my card by writing Happy Friendship Day on the top. Now I'm gonna decorate it. After I've decorated the front of my card, now I'm gonna go in the inside and write a little letter to my friend telling them how much I appreciate them. I have wrote a little note to my friend thanking them for being a great friend and how much fun I always have with them. Friendship Day is usually celebrated on July 30th. Although people in the United States don't usually celebrate this holiday, I think it would be a great idea this July to send out gifts to your friends and cards to your friends to tell them how much you appreciate them. After we have finished our cards, the next part of this gift, we are going to make our friends' friendship bracelets. We're gonna be using a very simple pattern that kids at any age can make. For the very first step of making my friendship bracelet, I have picked three colors to be in my bracelet. We're gonna cut our string equally to fit our wrist. After we have cut our string to the same length, we are now going to tie a knot at the top of our bracelet. After I've tied a knot at the top of my bracelet, I used a piece of tape and I taped my bracelet onto the table so that I can start my bracelet. To start my bracelet, I'm going to spread my three strings out. So I have my pink, my yellow, and my orange. I'm gonna take my orange and put it over the middle string, which is my yellow. Then I'm going to take my pink and put that over the orange. Then I'm gonna repeat this pattern by putting the outside string on the right over the middle string then the outside string on the left over the middle string, and I'm going to tighten it up and keep doing this pattern of putting the outside over the middle and alternate the sides. If you'd like to have a thicker bracelet, you can use more string by having two yellows and two oranges and two pinks, or even three oranges, three yellows and three pinks. There's also different patterns you can use. I'm just doing a simple braid, a braided pattern. So you're gonna braid all the way down to the very bottom of your bracelet. After you're done with your bracelet, I have braided all the way to the bottom. You're going to take the tape off and you are going to then tie the two ends together to form your bracelet. There you have it. So now you're going to take your friendship card and you're going to put your friendship bracelet inside and you can tape it if you feel like it might move around and you're going to then mail your card to your friend.